The Lagos State Housing Deficit currently stands at about 2.5 million, and with a population that does not seem to be slowing down, the city appears overwhelmed with skyrocketing housing needs. The problem has also triggered a trend of constant increase in house rents, rampant real estate fraud, and the undying old tricks of developers scam. That is the story of these Lagos residents. They paid a developer while this building situated at 53 of Bion Street, Akoka, Lagos, was under renovation, and since then, they have been stranded. I paid over, I paid 500,000 Naira. So that was in October. So the developers which I met and the agents, they told me that by December, it would be available for me to move in. And they gave me December 22. So lo and behold, December 9, I got an information where I, I was at the bank that a lot of people has made payment for this house and the developer has run away with their money. The that same night, Agbros were here, they will fight the they were selling a lot of people away. The next day again, they even brought thugs to come and beat us. They even beat a woman. A widow was no part of all that. She was no crying, begging. They didn't even answer. Yeah, I'm a student. It's very hard getting hostel in the rest of Lagos because you have to ballot, ballot, ballot. I even balloted. I got to last day. I didn't get hostel. That means get apartment. Please, we need your help because we have gone to party. We have gone to a lot of places. That day, we heard that when the hostel got exposed, there was a particular guy that came and was asking that we need our... That one stop is taking time, please give us key. So in that process, they shall have fought and then the landlord, the developer, so the just away. threw the key away. Then and then people that were around the just picked the key. They will say that they some people that live here, they will sold the key to some people, so to even other people to get the apartment. They were selling for some 30k, some 50k. They have also made unsuccessful attempt to recover their money. They visited the special fraud unit of the police and other agencies of government. We first of all went to House of Assembly. Yes. That day I left to work. We went there, reached there, we write statements, you know, all those things they normally tell us to do. No, to not avail, nothing is happening. The water, even when you go to Dark Panty, they want you to pay money. But the day I went there, I said, I told the policeman, say, they duped me of my money, 550,000. See me, I am not going to pay one naira. If you don't want to answer me, I am going to sleep you with all of you. I'm going to call the number of the developer now. One Mr. Adewale Tunde. Um, I got it uh, from one of the home seekers, and they said they've been trying to reach him and uh, they've not been able to uh, do so. The man has been switched off. Okay, so uh, the line is still switched off. And there's another number I got from them. They said it's the number of the agents who took them there uh, to the house. And let's try that number as well. Okay, so both lines are switched up and we've not been able to contact any of them for now. We visited the Lagos State Real Estate Regulatory Authority, an agency of government responsible for curtailing fraudulent practices in the sector. We haven't gotten that report yet. Um, so the first thing I'm going to advise is that they come in here and do a petition. Let's have all the documents. Let's see the evidence. Let's see what exactly, and we need to know what happened exactly. It's not going to be the first time. Um, we have several matters in court the same circumstances and that's why i said that we are ready to enforce the law to 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 the last letter um lagos is a, um, a huge city people come into lagos on a daily basis we do not want lagos to have that um reputation of swindlers as these home seekers continue efforts to retrieve their hard-earned money the housing sector is still riddled with sharp practices many believe proper regulation and law enforcement can solve. Dari Idu, Channels Television News.